Welcome to another awesome video. Today we got just a quick video. We were recently given this Rail King train set. It's broken. We're gonna try to fix this it. This is from December 2011, so this thing's not that old. Trains are fascinating. They're the subject of songs, movies, and you've owned a lot of different toy trains. You've owned a Lego train, Thomas the Train. You've watched a lot of train movies. Yep, and, like and Unstoppable. Yeah, and ridden on some real trains too. Now, I also have in this box my dad's childhood train set from the 1950s, which we last hooked up in about 2013, I believe. It's over 60 years old. Will it still work? We'll Let's find, find out. Let's get back to this Rail King train set. The problem here is obviously the train does not go. The control box lights came on, and so did the little green light beside the track, but the train itself was dead. So the first thing we did was measure the voltage on the track itself, and it seemed fine. That's how power gets to the train through the track. You know, the power connects to the you rail. You don't want to connect both of those together on the same track. We thought it might not end well. I guess it's got some overload protection, you know, if you accidentally, if the train slides across the rails or whatever. Anyway, we very quickly proved that power was getting passed to the train, which led us to conclude the problem was in the train itself. First, we checked the locomotive. We were able to verify power was getting inside the locomotive. We even hooked power directly up, up to the motor and it turned which meant the problem was somewhere in the train, but before the motor. Tracing the wires, we found that this train passes power from the locomotive back to the coal car and then back to the motor, which is interesting. Then we checked the coal car. So what do we find in here? <laughs> Over-engineered circuits. If you're wondering what that big round thing is, it's a speaker. Yes. And you'll discover it much later as it's very loud. Yeah. In an attempt to isolate the problem, we just patched power directly into the coal car, and here's what happened. We bypass the railing and go directly to the back car. All right, turn it on slightly. Now press the horn button. Press the bell button. So we proved that power is getting into the locomotive from the tracks, but not to the coal car. So the culprit is the small connector between the engine and the coal car. We did some continuity tests on the connector and found the problem is just that this thing is just a little printed circuit board between the locomotive and the coal car and it just gets flexed over and over every time you connect or disconnect the car and every time the train turns and it just worked the solder loose. So we just had to put some globs of solder on that and that fixed the problem. We we verified it was going to work and then put all the covers back on and the train was fixed. So, Yay! Yeah. This is an O scale. What do you, what do you, what do you? It was yeah. I think it's an O scale. Yeah, this is an o, o scale train. We're not model train experts, but uh, you can really see if you look on YouTube. There's tons of videos. People build these elaborate, you know. Which I want to do. Yeah, that would be very costly, probably. Let's try the 1950s train. Does it work? It it uses the basic same principle as the other train. It has a voltage transformer that goes through the tracks to the locomotive. Well, in this case, it's just a motor in that locomotive. There's a this, this 50s train is more dangerous. The, the wiring standards of the 1950s were not what they are today. So you've got bare wire. Even on the 120-volt uh, receptacle, there's bare wire. But I guess parents are not worried about their kid getting zapped. But believe it or not, it still works. You know, it's a very simple design. Everything works. I had to flip but it on and off several times to make it go <laughs> forwards instead of backwards. But it, it still works. Uh, I can actually see. I don't know if you can see the sparks on the camera. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time for another awesome video.